After what feels like months of waiting, I'm finally gonna set up my April 2023 spreads with the Untamed Big One subscription box. I wanted to do something a bit different. You know I love a Dutch door, but I am going to do a kind of half Dutch door, half knot set up. I'm using the paint palette stencil and I'm tracing around it onto some purple dot grid paper. And I want to make a shaped edge to the main dashboard of the monthly spread. And then the other pages within the monthly spread will be a normal size page. Um, it's just the first one that is going to be shaped just for a little bit different and also to give me a little bit more space. So I'm cutting out the paint palette, which I've traced onto the paper back to front in pencil so that I can flip it over and you won't see any pencil lines if I've not been super accurate with my cutting. And once I've done that, I'm going to take the really colorful scrapbook paper that came with the untamed box and create the little paint splashes. Now, I know that the paint splashes should be individual colors, but it's untamed and there's no rules and we need to remember that. It's only a journal, it doesn't need to be accurate. So I'm using the multicolored paper and I'm just cutting the bottom section off so that I'm not using any of the bits that I might want to use from the paper craft sheet. And I'm tracing around it on the reverse side again in pencil just to get those paint splash shapes. That is a mouthful. So tracing around in pencil, trying to fit seven splashes onto the page, which is tricky, um, but I do manage to do it just about. And then I'm gonna cut through all of these. Now, I know that cutting out is pretty boring. I've already sped up this film a little bit just so that it's not a super painful process, but I'm gonna speed up this next section a little bit more. So watch me go with my super speedy cutting. It is bad to start now. And hopefully, then it'll be a bit less painful to watch back, but you'll still be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm cutting each of those shapes out trying not to lose them. And after this, you will discover the rookie error that I have made of my setting up my spread YouTube video recording day. And that is that I forgot to bring home a glue roller. The super paper crafty setup that I decided that I wanted to create all hinges on the fact that I have glue. And I don't, I didn't bring any home with me. All of the rollers are finished. So despite the fact that I run a stationery company and we sell glue rollers, I don't have any. So I had to then go rummaging through all of my drawers to see if I could find anything that might work. Thankfully, I found some double-sided tape and it did end up driving me a little bit up the wall, um, which you'll see. There are sections of this that I've cut out because I tore the things that I was sticking down because the double-sided glue wasn't working for me. Yeah, it all drove me a little bit crazy. Um, but hey, I, I will learn to plan my setup. The reason I didn't remember to bring anything home is because I recorded this after I'd been away for a week. So um, yeah, I hadn't been into the office and remembered to bring anything home. But hey, never mind. Now, what I'm doing now is just cutting the little hole in the paint palette, the one that you would hold it through if it were a real paint palette. And I've done that just by piercing a hole with the tip of the scissors and then cutting around in a circle in Blue Peter style Um, I could have used my little scalpel blade, but um, I was had the scissors in my hand, so that's what I've used. Now, I quite like how this looks. I then have to decide how I'm going to stick it on the page. So I've cut an edge off just so that you're going to get a bit of an overlap. And as I'm filming this, by the way, um, I have already done the spread setup and I've edited the video. So I've cut out all the boring bits and I'm just sat on my sofa and my animals suddenly are desperate to talk to me. So if you hear me pause, it's probably because the cat's jumped on my lap or freckles demanding attention. Um, Elvis is wanting head scratches right now. Um, so that's why <laughs> I'm trying to keep a train of thought and be totes profesh whilst being harassed by my cat. So I've cut that edge of the page off and I'm just adding a purple line one space across um, just for a little bit of detail on the edge of the page so that you can see it once I've stuck the um, paint palette on. 
And this is where I have to go grab my double-sided tape. If I had a, a tape roller, it would be so much easier. I'd just be able to stick on the back of the thing and then stick it down and it's fine, but I'm having to measure exactly where I want the tape, um, try and cut the tape without sticking it to my fingers, which is what I do now. Um, you'll hear me complain a lot about the fact that I forgot my tape roller in this voice I over because it drove me mental. Um, but hey, <laughs> we, we live and we learn. So I'm just sticking the tape onto the side of the page and then sticking the paint palette down so that I've got a shaped page edge, as you can see. And then I'm going to cut little pieces of that double-sided tape just to stick the paint splashes onto the paint palette. Now, I do end up folding over the tape just to make it small enough. And what that does is lift those paint splashes up a little bit, which I don't hate, actually. It gives it a bit of a 3D effect. And my journal is getting quite chunky from all of these things that I'm sticking in. Um, but I quite like it. It makes it feel loved and used. And I'm probably about almost halfway through my journal now. So going to B5 is definitely making my journals last longer than they would when I was using an A5 journal. I'm a definite B5 convert. Um, it means that I can fit everything I need to do in a week on a double page spread rather than going over multiple pages, which is nice. Everything's to view. Um, so there you go. There's all the paint splashes stuck down. Um, I've got a shaped edge to my page and I will decorate the back side of that page in a moment. Um, but I'm going to concentrate on the first double page spread, which is my master list. I've grabbed the five centimeter font, um, which is Blossom, and that is available to our quarterly subscribers only. It was a, a quarterly subscriber exclusive, um, and it's made to coordinate with the font. It isn't Blossom. I'm lying completely. It's the untamed font in five centimetres. Um, and it was made to coordinate with the untamed box. So you got the regular size font in the box. And the five centimetre font was an optional extra, and it's in the subscriber shop for those of you that want it. I really like this font. It's quite playful. Um, it's a mixture of upper and lower case, which is nice. So I'm just tracing that onto the purple paper again, and I'm reversing the letters before I trace it again so that I can cut them out and then flip them over so that if I haven't cut accurately, you won't see the edges of the pencil lines. Um, and I love when I double speed this, it looks like it takes no time at all to cut these letters out, but actually it was quite fiddly and it took me a little while. The whole spread, I would say, unedited, took about an hour and a half of filming. So I've, I've edited it down to just over half an hour. So that shows you the difference between how long it takes in real life versus how long it actually took me. Um, but I find with anything where I'm doing lots of cutouts and paper craft, they are the longer spread setups, but potentially not as interesting to watch in real time because they do just take a long time, lots of cutting. Um, but I got in the zone with my scissors and I was just sitting and doing my paper crafts. And once I'd cut all of these pieces out, I then had to have a fight with the double-sided tape because it was actually too wide to fit on any of those letters. So I had to cut pieces of it. You'll see in a moment. <laughs> um, this week has been a bit of a mad week at Oopsa Daisy HQ because I've been away for a week um, and we're gearing up to Tracy having a week off. So it's kind of catch up everything we need to do handover it's the week following the bookworm launch which was busy so try tracy is getting on top of that um kate and i are chatting design things because i've been away for a week so it's been a bit hectic and we're trying to get on top of everything so that when tracy goes away i have done all of my jobs so that i can pack orders that week um while she is out of the office so if any of you place orders next week um and there's anything wrong with the orders, I apologise. That's because it's me and I'm an amateur now at packing orders. I don't do it very often anymore. Um, so you see now I'm using my scalpel blade to cut out the centres of the letters just because they're quite small. So it would be fiddly to do with scissors. It's a lot quicker to do it this way. Um, taking each one. Annoyingly, the month April has lots of holes in its letters. 
Um, so it's a little bit fiddly. But I think the finished look is worthwhile. It looks really cute once it's all cut out. And I really like the paper graph craft effect um, in my spreads. I think it it's nice. It's a nice mix up. I did a very sticker heavy spread last month. So this is a little bit different. So once I've cut all the letters out, I then decide that I want another splash of that coloured, multicoloured, untamed pattern on the left hand side of the page just to kind of contrast and draw the whole thing together. So in with my double sided tape, double sided tape of doom. Um, and I do a bit along the outside edge and then a bit along the torn edge of the piece of paper that I've torn to try and make sure that I don't get flappy bits, which will just be annoying once I have stuck it down. So this wasn't too bad because it's a fairly decent sized piece of paper. I'm just going to cut now so that it fits the edges of the page on the top and the bottom. You can see I've got another Dutch door on the other side that I set up during the VIP masterclass. Love me a Dutch door. And now it's just deciding where the letters should go. And I first of all thought that I wanted to do bottom left. And then I decided once I'd set it all out, actually, it it would be weird once I've got the, the calendar above it. So I decided that I preferred it to be at the top of the page once I'd laid it all out and moved it all. Um, because that's how I roll. So you'll see now. I'm like, mm, maybe not. Let's move it up to the top. And I much prefer it up there. And this is the good thing with this sort of paper crafts layout, scrapbooky style layout, is that you can move stuff around before you stick it down. Whereas when you're doing with pen, you really have to go in and decide where you want it. Um, I know you could probably do it all in pencil first, but we all know that's not my style. Um, I'm far too impulsive. I just want it done. So this my friends, is where the double-sided tape drives Joe officially up the wall. I tore a letter. Um, yeah, all different sorts of things. So I've cut that out so that you don't have to watch it because, honestly, it was really painful. Um, it went on for a good 20 minutes of me, like, trying to stick a letter. I tried to undo the tape. Then I tore the letter in half. Yeah, it was really irritating so it's done now and I'm going to grab the vertical numbers washi tape um, that we launched in March so this is the new version of the tape that we'd sold out of previously it's perfectly spaced so that it aligns to a five millimeter dot grid so it means I've got one to 31 and next to that the days of the week and I've just aligned it so that they are right for the month of April actually it's one to 30 because there's 30 days in April so I'm just going to change that and this is the simplest monthly spread you will ever set up using the washi tape boom it's pretty much done and I just decide now that I want to divide that into two so that I've got a side of my monthly spread that is for work and a side that is for personal so that I can put the different things that I've got planned either side of that monthly spread. I then want to add in a little bit of decoration. So I'm going to rip some more of that purple um, paper. Sorry if you can hear noises. I think there is potentially a scooter driving around in the field behind me. Fun fact, um, I've got the doors open because it's a nice evening. So I'm just deciding where to place that purple torn paper. And I'm going to grab the other stencil, another stencil that come within the Untamed kit, which is our paintbrushes stencil. And I really like the whole vibe of the paintbrush having painted that strip of paper. So I've torn the end of it so that you've got like a raggedy end as if the paintbrush is kind of lifted off. And then I'm colouring, uh, drawing around the stencil to draw the paintbrush. The top tip for this stencil is that the, both the sort of house paintbrushes and art paintbrushes, the handles have gaps in between. So please make sure you connect that as if it had like a connecting strip so that the bristles aren't floating independently of the brush. 
um, because that doesn't make sense and that isn't how it would work in real life. But you can quite easily just join those gaps and you've got a stripe across, which is like your metallic join that you would get within that paintbrush. So I'm just going to add some details to that, just some bristles and then colour in the strips of the paintbrush so that you've got kind of a, um, a handle type vibe. You'll see once I've done that what I'm talking about, because sometimes when I'm describing it makes absolutely no sense, especially when I'm attempting to do a voiceover in one go like I am right now. So here we go. That's a paintbrush and that's my first page done. And then I move into the first double page spread where I'm going to set up my weeklies. And anyone that's seen me set up a monthly spread recently will know that I like setting up the whole month in advance. I set up the structure of that month i.e. there's spaces for each week, but I leave quite a lot of that weekly spread unstructured so that I can do habit trackers or add in to-do lists or anything that I actually need in that week because I don't know in three weeks' time what I'm going to be working on. It's nice to have the flexibility of being able to do that while having the structure so that I can put things in advance. So if I know that in three weeks' time I need to pay my VAT bill, for example, I can schedule that without having it all ready done for me. So that is what I'm going to set up now. I'm doing a little strip of ripped paper just to cover the join and I'm trying to make sure with that ripped paper that it doesn't show through to the other side. Some very precise ripping is happening and once I've got that, here we go again with the old double-sided tape of doom. Um, just trying to line it up. There we go. And I just realised that there's a little bit of an edge showing, so I have to do a little bit more precise ripping here, which is easier said than done. There we go. Um, and then just cut so it fits the page. How cute is that? A little bit more ripping. Rip heavy. There we go. Um, then I realised that I need to stick down the edges because, they're, again, they're going to be flappy and it's going to be annoying. Um, so I then have to get my double-sided tape out again. Um, sorry, more ripping. It is a very scrapbooky style um, spread this, this month. You'll see where I'm going with this when we get a little bit further then decided I want to add some washi tape because why not? Everything needs more colour. Um, using my washi tape cutter that came with the untamed box, which is very handy. And then I get really overexcited with the washi tape and put it at the top of the page as well. Um, and every week during this month, I've done a slightly different layout. Um, most months I tend to just do the same structured layout each each week but I decided it's untamed they should all be different let's mix it up a bit so I'm going to grab um, the pad that was an early bird extra so for the first 100 people that subscribed to the big one when it moved to the new site they got this my extraordinary ideas or my extraordinary thoughts pad and I'm going to use that as a place to kind of add notes on each week so I'm adding a page from the notepad to my journal, if you see what I mean. More double-sided tape. Can you see how much easier this would have been with a roller glue? <laughs> Silly girl. Um, so now I've got a space for my thoughts and I just want to add the structure for the days and then I'm going to leave the rest of the, the spread pretty empty so that I can fill it in when I need to. So what I decide to do here is put the weekend over on the right side of the page. So two little boxes for Saturday and Sunday. And then the weekdays on the left-hand side of the spread. Oop, at the top. Um, and then I've got kind of gaps all around that where I can add notes or trackers or whatever I feel, whatever I need when it is the first week of April. Um, but having that extraordinary thoughts pad basically means that I've got a space to doodle, write notes, any of the above. 
Um, I'm going to grab the sticker sheet, the Untamed Days and Dates stickers, which again was an extra for anyone who was a subscriber. We asked um, in our Facebook group, the Bullet Journal Squad, would people like coordinating stickers? Because all of the stickers within the box are not Days and Dates stickers this time. And everybody said they would. So we got busy designing, or Kate did, and got them made. Um, and they sold out twice and they're currently sold out. Potentially might do another reprint. So let me know in the comments below if you would like more. Um, and it's probably a good time for me to tell you that if you are watching this video and you don't have the untamed box from which all of this stationery comes and you want it, you have until Friday the 31st of March to subscribe to the big one and get it as your first box. If you haven't done it by then, it will be a case of buying it as a standalone box, which means you won't get the digital elements that were um, optional extras. So definitely advise that you subscribe. Um, the payment for our next box, which is our June dispatch box, will come out on the 1st of April. So um, always with these boxes, you will get a ton of goodies um, worth way more than the box costs. I think it was about £60 worth of stationery in this one. And the box, the, the sub subscription is £29 a quarter. So it's very good value and it's always a little bit of a surprise and it's once a quarter. So I'll pop the details in the description if you are interested. Just a little bit of a shameless plug for the old box while I'm setting up my weekly spreads. So I have done a strip of colour down the left-hand side for this second week and I'm adding a corner of the purple dot grid paper on the right-hand side of the spread. Like I said, just kind of mixing up the, the layouts slightly. Realised that it wasn't lined up with the edge of the page, so let's correct that. Done now. And then add in the My Extraordinary Thoughts couldn't decide as you can see up down up down um page in and then i just need to add in once i've corrected that corner um the week boxes which i'm going to do now so seven boxes down the left hand side putting them all together this time and then there's a nice white space for me to add in lists to you know to-do lists um habits that i'm tracking notes, anything else that I want to write down in that particular week. So I find that having the structure laid out ahead of me just makes for a more productive month. And that way, if I don't have time on a weekend to set up my weekly spread, um, it doesn't kind of halt my productivity. Um, I'm then just adding in my Monday to Sunday stickers from the Untamed Days and Dates sheet. And they're all different colours from the Untamed colour palette. I love this box, I love how bright it is. And then I'm gonna add the date stickers. Now you see there, what I actually did was flip back to see what date the Sunday was, when what I could have just done is looked at the sticker sheet and seen what sticker I'd used. But wasn't thinking, was I? So there we go, that's next week's setup. That's two out of the four for the month. And at this point, I think I decided to have a little tidy <laughs> because all of the bits of paper were just getting in the way. So clear the workspace, super quick tidy, organise everything, pens in their pots. I've got a little rubbish pot on my desk, which has been a lifesaver. So I have like a little plastic pot where I put all of my bits of rubbish and then at the end... I take it out and pop it in the bin. So it means that I haven't got a ton of mess getting in the way. There we go. So I can carry on now. Um, and I, oh yes, I'm gonna use my stickers. So these were stickers from within the untamed box and both sheets had clear backgrounds. So you could overlay a word on top of a paint splash. I don't think it shows up particularly well on the light, but I really like how that worked out. You got the choice of either using the black words or the white words. Um, I'm going to have my paint splash on the other side of the page. Oh, excuse me. 
for this bread. Probably need to have a drink because I'm getting a very dry throat from talking continually for 25 minutes, as you can hear. So just cutting that off and I, again, going to make a space for my Extraordinary Thoughts notepad page, which I, oh, nope, I'm going to do my days of the week first. This is a super easy stencil. It's a super easy B5 stencil. So it is designed for the size of journal that I'm using. Um, I think this is called Snail Scribbles Week on a Page, this one. And it's one I use loads in my weekly setup. You've got the seven boxes down the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side of the stencil, there's room to do like a to-do list or a goals list. Um, weirdly, I never use it for a single page weekly. I always use it for the parts of it, but you know, whatever works for you really. So there's the seven boxes. Again, I'm gonna add in my Monday to Sunday stickers. How much quicker are stickers than actually writing things out? I love them. I do find that because I've got long nails, <laughs> it can be a bit fiddly using stickers and I probably should use tweezers like an Instagram or YouTube Pro, um, but hey managed to get them in the place that they were supposed to be. So that's the main thing. It's the smaller ones that are more fiddly. And then I'm going to add my Extraordinary Thoughts note page. And again, just sort of playing around with where I might want it to be. Grab the double-sided sticky tape. And I'm, oop, there you go, I'm going to pop it. Decided for central, I think, on this one. And then once that's stuck down, I'm going to grab those stickers again and make a header for the top of the week. Oh no, I'm just sticking the corners down because the double-sided sticky tape is doing me wrong. So grab another swoosh and then another word. And you can actually see these once you've got them in real life, but it doesn't show up in camera for some reason. And then the last week of the month, I'm going to go a little bit different again and go horizontally across the page with my scrapbook paper. So again, just tearing the edge of the paper. Then I have to get my double-sided sticky tape, which was a pain for this bit because <laughs> it's difficult to be accurate with a torn edge but I try. Using double-sided sticky tape does make me feel very Blue Peter. So if nothing else, that's fun. Um, I just wish I had one that I'd made earlier. So just sticking that little bit down and then I have to cut the edges just to make sure that it fits the page. And then I'm gonna get the contrasting purple paper and oh, there we go and cut and put it in the top right hand corner so they're all a similar sort of style to the other pages but they're all a slightly different layout just to mix it up and make it a little bit different um, and I remember from when I did this that the tape was faffy for this one I didn't put it in the right place and I made life quite difficult for myself. I stuck it over the edge and then I tried to tear it when it had tape on and, you know. But it looks nice in the end. And as I've said before, maybe it should be my catchphrase, it is only paper. So it's meant to be played with, meant to be written on, doesn't need to be a work of art. As long as you have fun. That is the main thing. And I've got this weird edge. So I now try and cut it. Then the tape doesn't tear. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> then I realise that I've, you've got visible tape. So I have to peel that back. And luckily you can pick up that double-sided tape with a pen knife. And I managed to cut it so that it did fit and I didn't have visible tape, because otherwise the pages would have stuck together and that's no fun for anybody. 
Come on, pages, play ball. I'm trying to be a YouTuber here. There we go. So, last setup, and I think for this one, I'm going to split my week and my weekend again. So, let's grab the stencil and add in the five days over there. Just lining up the boxes with the dot grid page. And if you do have a stencil where it's got those thin strips, it may be worth just holding it down with your finger when you're drawing around in case they wiggle. If you're quite heavy handed, they will wiggle. And then I'm gonna add the days of the week. What I enjoy is that every time I do it slightly differently, sometimes I do half of the week and then add the stickers and sometimes I do the whole week and then add the stickers um, just to make keep me guessing while I'm recording my voiceover. Um, so here's the dates going in. And finally, do we have it? Do we, do we, do we? Oh. We're going to add in our Extraordinary Thoughts page. You can tell as time goes on, I'm getting more agitated <laughs> with the double-sided tape. I'm like, ah. Next time I will definitely remember to bring my glue roller home. And also, it would be interesting to know how many times I have said double-sided tape throughout this voiceover because I think it's probably a million so apologies it's probably very boring to listen to me moan about the fact that I forgot my glue roller we're so close and one last decorative sticker and I think we're close to being done I'm excited to use this spread it's really fun it's really colorful um it's, yeah, it's right up my street, this theme. Um, I was excited about it when we decided on it and I've been excited as all the stationery have turned up. So I've got that shaped page edge and then I've got my four weekly spreads with room to be creative in each week. And that is my April setup, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love if you would click the follow button so that you're notified when we post in future and also when we go live. And if you've hung around to the end, make sure you check our description because there is a little code in there for a freebie. Thanks for watching, guys. 